Hey guys, welcome to Jigsaw for Hair. My name is Tasha and I'm the owner here at the salon. And um, Pam, this is Pam. Hello. Um, Pam is going to be showing you guys how to do um, a hair styling technique. And um, so I'm gonna let Pam explain everything to you. Okay, so. Basically, what I'm going to do is just show you guys how I curl my hair with a curling iron versus the flat iron to kind of get the desired look for how I like to wear my hair. So I kind of like to wear it kind of messy, but also like it has some structure. So it's different every time I do it. So keep that in mind. Awesome. So if you guys have any questions or anything throughout the process, um, just let us know and we'll try and get them answered for you. Okay, let's go. Okay. I wonder if I can reverse this. Ta-da! I usually kind of split my hair into three just to keep it fast because I don't want it to be perfect. The only place where I kind of get more of a formed curl is literally in this piece where you could say that could be my bangs, but they're not so easy. So I just take a section starting from like above my ear. Don't mind my color. I uh, try to figure out when I have time to actually redo it. So right now my hair is just kind of, it's like second day hair, so it's just blown out. But generally speaking, this is kind of what it would look like if I had just brushed the look So I'm taking more kind of vertical sectioning, just so I get the desired look I want. So I use a fairly long, barrels uh, curling iron so if you want kind of more of like a perfect curl you might want to take a some like a shorter more standard length one and also take smaller sections but i'm not about that life so that's fine <laughs> life of a hairdresser and we're always the last ones to get our own hair done Give us a break when our hair looks like crap. <laughs> so I usually just kind of feel like my hair when it starts getting too warm for me to kind of like tap my fingers on it. That's when I let go. And you'll get kind of like this, almost like a bit of a sausage curl where your ends don't know where they're going, but that's the point. So just leave them like that. And I curl everything away from my face. And I kind of pretend like I don't have a back of the head. I just do like, I've got, just the two sides. Okay, so to so we we're looking for confused ends <laughs> that don't know where they're going. <laughs> and you're curling all the curls towards the back of the head. Got it. <laughs> Especially the stuff that's on the bottom. Once I get to the top, it makes more sense because I can leave some of my ends out without curling them, and that's how you're gonna get more of that messier kind of look. Right. Right. So the bottom confused ends is the right. <laughs> technical term sometimes confused hair is good good hair it works though yes well and that's the great thing too about all these um, balayage and um, rooted looks that we're seeing is that if you don't have time to get your roots done it's not so bad unless you're gray like me then it's bad <laughs> You can see some of that has kind of fallen out back there. That's okay. Not a big deal. And we'll leave this stuff for once I get to the next section. So just if you aren't, you're only working on this one section right now. So the whole reason we decided to get back into doing videos again is because we think it's important for people to realize how easy it is potentially for them to do their own hair and some of the looks that they see. So I think a lot of times you see your hairdresser and you're like, oh, she always has cute hair, but I could never do that. But actually guys, you could do that. And we're showing you how. 
so you notice I sprayed after I curled. I don't like spraying before because first of all, it's going to make your hot tool disgusting and you're going to have to clean it. <laughs> and also, I don't like the finish it gives you when you heat up hairspray. It looks like weird and shiny and not in like a nice way. So I'll save that for last. So but much I find where my temples are and that's where my second section down from there is going to be. I'm just, I'm waving at all of our, um, all of our viewers. Oh, okay. Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in. Pam's showing us how to achieve some easy, fun, tousled curls on her mid-length hair. And so far, her biggest tips are, we want confused ends. <laughs> so it's okay if the ends don't get all curled. They, they can go random directions. They can stick right out when you're curling <laughs> Exactly. You almost want to like half curl. Yes, they're, they're waving at you. They're like, hey, <laughs> yeah. And um, so far as well, all of the curls are going back towards the back of the head in that direction. But I think she mentioned she's gonna start changing that up as she gets to the top. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I can see Alicia and Stephanie in the background doing something there. <laughs> Hi, ladies. <laughs> They're pretty chandelier. Oops. Sorry, guys. I'm running into things. <laughs> I know, I'm backing up here and got my tripod and my ring light getting in my way. <laughs> no, that hurts. I know with the curling wand, I got a glove with mine, but I never used the glove. I just continued to burn myself. <laughs> yes, even hairdressers burn themselves. Ow. <laughs> Sometimes like you'll see I'll kind of like angle it up so that way my hair doesn't overlap each other on the barrel. And also with an extra long barrel, you don't need to worry too much about that happening unless you've got like really long hair. And what kind of curling iron do you like to use, Pam? Uh, this one is just hot tools. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It serves its purpose for me. I like curling irons that get hot enough to do the job. I'm not that picky on um, so The hot tools like brand you feel is probably a good one for curling irons? Yeah. It's good and hot. There's also, I've been wanting to try, um, oh, what are they called? I have the blow dryer at home. Not the Dyson. The no, Dyson. I don't have the Dyson at home. I have the other There's one. There's a Dyson curling iron too now. Yeah, it's um, it's done with air though, so on my hair it probably would work. Oh, I think I would need like that perfect texture of hair for that to even be 
Okay, if anybody knows anything about the Dyson curling iron, let us know if you think it would work on Pam's hair. Okay, so this last section is going to probably be like the bulk of your hair. Then decide how deep you want your part to be. Sexy! I think I want it there. I might change my mind later. I'm not sure. We'll start there. Nice, nice. It's gonna look like this. I'm trying to be still here. I'm not sure how successful I am. I bet you a lot of people have that issue. I know I have that issue too, where my hair splits in the crown. Well, I yeah. noticed that I have this really right. interesting well, growth pattern where I shape shaped like the whole like underside in here. I've never mm -hmm. shaved just like right there before. There's like a diagonal strip of hair where it grows all together. So the hair just almost like bunches in one spot. So now I'm convinced everyone that has hair that bunches, it probably grows that way so that you can see it. Yeah. You don't see it until you shave your head. Did I shave your head for you? That back side? I'm trying to remember. No, I think it's how it's been. I think Brandy did it sometimes. Okay. Kayla did it a few times. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Right. See, and I forgot to curl this one piece, so it kind of sticks out funny. So we'll just grab that one little piece and then go No big deal. Hey ladies, come say hi. Come say hi. Hi. <laughs> Danielle. Hello. Here's Stephanie Hello. and Alicia. <laughs> the boss babes. I know, she's going to look super hot, sizzling. Look at it already. My son does that actually. He'll do it <laughs> for yet. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, it's okay. <laughs> so, still taking just like long vertical sections. Okay. Especially in this part, because this seems to be where I have a lot of hair. I don't know if any of you were around back in the beginning of Jigsaw for me and I had those really big, thick, like, uh, bed bangs or, like, rockabilly bangs. I loved your bangs. This was, like, they were thick. Yeah. They were, there was a lot happening there. So we have a question. Okay. Do you guys have anyone specialize in cutting short hair, like feminine pixie cuts? I've only had bad experiences with short haircuts that look like a man's haircut. Oh my God, I can answer that. Yes, um, incredible short haircuts come out of this salon as well. Um, my hair is really short right now because it's growing back in, but they've been taking very good hair. Even growing your hair out from like shaved, um, these stylists, they're able to keep it in a really nice shape while it's growing. 
Um, but yeah, there's some super cute pixies right now out on the runway and everything. Um, the red carpet, so definitely we can help you in that area. So remember not to touch any of your curls, even if you think they don't look good, just leave them alone. Don't touch them until they've completely cooled down. So as soon as you start messing around with them, they're just not gonna work, regardless oh. of the type of curl you're doing. I thought I could double click to love <laughs> it. <laughs> um, how, do you know how to do a, a little love? I'm not too familiar with the IGTV ways. Or is this live? This is live. This is live. Yes, I'm going to post this on IGTV after um, so that people can watch. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how else to give you a heart, Miss Daisy Jane. I'm sure there is a better way, a faster way. It's so cute. I'm just going to let that cool for a sec, and then I'll show you just what I do after. The yeah, only tool cool. you're really going to need is your hands at this point, and very much about as little as everything's possible, especially when you don't have a lot of time to do your hair. So this side's a little bit warm still, so I'll just work on this side, and I literally just put my fingers in, and make like the claw, stick it in, and I just shake. The claw! Just claw your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, tell us about the product you just used. I just used the Session Spray Flex, so it's the newer hairspray. Whoa, from it's so bright, I can't see it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it aside. So it's a new hairspray from Kevin Murphy. Cool. Session Spray Flex. Is it like waxy? Is it dry? Um, Is it. I'd say it's kind of dry-ish because it's a working hairspray so it's yeah. not the one you're going to use to set everything. Um, this will be the one I use to set because I don't want it. I want it to change. Through. I don't want it to look the same all day because I'm going to run my hands through it. Yeah. So now that this is cooled down a bit, do the same thing on this side. I think more and more people are feeling that way about their hair. They, they are okay when it kind of drops a bit and they want to be able to play with it. Well, I want it to look like hair. I don't yeah. want it to look like Helmet. Yeah, no helmet head. Mm -hmm. Looks cute with your highlights. Yeah, totally. I love it. Yeah, shout out to Pam for her cool yeah. little hair, hair color and style. And then you tuck that side, you ah. down, whatever you want to do. Babe, so hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so I'm going to reverse this. Oh maybe sorry guys really i'm sure that's how i did it to begin with okay so um pam is now done look at her she is babelicious and um yeah that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh check it out we're going to be posting it in on our ig no yes igtv <laughs> okay bye for now see you and